welcome to Dad Tech, where we talk tech toys and gear for geek-centric dads. I know it's been a hot minute since we've actually unboxed any toys on the channel, but today I have my hands on the Iron Man Mark 85 from Hot Toys. And although it's been sitting in my house for a few weeks, I've just been lazy to kind of do this video. But now I felt like doing it, so we're gonna do this video and check out whether or not this belongs in your collection. Let's go. As always, Hot Toys comes with really premium packaging. This is no exception. You've got great artwork on the front. You've got the Marvel embossed logo right here. Uh, on the sides, again, they carried over that kind of space motif. Let's show that up top. Like I mentioned, great packaging, great artwork once again from Hot Toys here. The metallic embossed Avengers Endgame logo along with the name of the collectible itself right there, Iron Man Mark 85. On the side, they carried over that, you know, red and orange space motif that kind of harkens back to Tony Stark's armor. You have the arc reactor again embossed in that metallic along with the naming convention on the side, Iron Man Mark 85. Again, beautiful, beautiful artwork here. On the back, you have all of the people that were responsible for the toys, all the production designers, all the artists and whatnot. So again, Beautiful packaging. Typically, I never throw my boxes away from Hot Toys. So, you know, I have a closet that's just filled with these things completely empty because again, I appreciate all of the hard work that goes into these boxes. And obviously, if you want to resell them, it's a great way to kind of repackage. So if you've seen my Hulkbuster video, and if you haven't, I'll link that up top here. This is the same kind of styrofoam that they use to protect the collectibles. Obviously on the Hulkbuster toy, it was much, much more robust, much thicker. This one's not quite that thick, but again, same type of material from a styrofoam standpoint. You pop it open. You've got the Mark 85 in all of its splendor covered with plastic to protect it, obviously, from humidity and whatnot. So. I believe there's only one tray here. There isn't probably that many accessories. Um, there should be another head. So let's go and uh, let's snap that and get these guys out of its packaging. So again, like I said, it's a one tray collectible. I just took out Iron Man uh, and all of his packaging. Let's now work on the first tray that has the base and whatnot. Okay, there you have it. Not many accessories to speak of. You have two pairs of hands that can interchangeably be replaced for the ones that he has on now. He obviously has the nano glove that has the infinity stones on it. You have the controversial bust of Tony Stark. You have the neck protector. You have the stand and the accoutrements that go along with that. And then you have the nano laser repulsor. And that's it. I mean, it's beautiful. I don't think it needs that many more accessories, but that's what you get. So again, the first part is the hand as you can see there, that's kind of got the typical Iron Man repulsor on it. Okay, this one here is a little bit more broad, broadly opened hand that has the repulsor. This is that neck protector if you choose to take off the helmet of Tony Stark. And then this is the, obviously the nano glove that has the infinity stones when he stole it from Thanos. And this is kind of the controversial uh, bust of Tony Stark here, which, you know, Personally, I could give a shit. Like, <laughs> I never display them with without their helmets. Like, I, I love Robert Downey Jr., but I don't need to see him in like a miniaturized format in my house. This is to me the coolest part. You got the nano repulsors, obviously you saw that in the movie. Thor would blast the back of this with his uh, lightning power and would come out to the front. I personally enjoy these smaller bases. They're a lot easier to kind of store and, and display when it's this small of a form factor. Uh, the bigger ones are much more unwieldy and much more difficult. And this is, this is him. Great detail. Detailing. You've got some, you know, tiny battle damage marks all over the, the body, the biceps, uh, and then the shoulder pads there, the shoulder plates as well. On the legs also, you kind of see on the knee pads, you have battle damage on the thigh area. So extremely, extremely highly detailed as always. From an articulation standpoint, take a look. Shoulders, right? You can kind of, you can do a full blown lat raise there. Um, bends at the elbows. Obviously, this is the closed fist of the hands. We can always change that. Same thing with the knees, right? Great mobility there. Let's check to see if he can kind of bend down. So there is some flex. There is some flex to him there, as you can see. Flex and spin. So again, they did a great job of kind of combining the aesthetics of Iron Man and be able to give him the type of mobility that you want 
when you're trying to pose them certain ways and whatnot. So I'm gonna go put on the nano gauntlet and the backplate armor, and then we'll kind of get into some macro shots so you can adore this thing as much as I do. Okay, so I've attached the, it was really easy. You just detach a portion of the back armor from the back of Iron Man, and it's basically three pegs that kind of attach to this section right here. There you go. He's ready to take some lightning from Thor and repurpose it. I also took out the right forearm section in preparation for attaching the nano gauntlet with the Infinity Stone. So we'll get back to you on that one. I've attached the nano gauntlet, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Got that on there, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. There you have it, Mark 85 Iron Man from Hot Toys. Another great entry into the pantheon of Hot Toys collectibles. Certainly is gonna be a prominent display for me. I love this version of Iron Man. It's obviously iconic for ending the Marvel Infinity Saga, so you will not regret this if you pick this up. Great details on it. Hot Toys knocked it out of the park again with this one. Don't listen to all the haters with all the bust in the head of Tony Stark. Don't worry about that stuff. It looks great as you can see here. And again, pick this up, you will not regret it. If you like this video, thumbs up. Hit thumbs up, man. Just make it happen. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will check you in the next video. Peace.